Hello guys, it's your boy Manny here. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Alright, I'm just gonna assume you guys didn't miss me too much, okay? You can stop crying now, y'all. Okay, let's get right to it. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put lip sync, apply lip sync to your animation accurately. Okay, I promised you guys this video in my last video so now here it is we're gonna try and put some kind of mouth action into this oh yeah you might be wondering different mouth shapes and all this they actually represent certain sounds in the english you know vocal whatever so this is it the first frame represents just like a little smile like I like to call it and the second frame represents the R ah and the I I sound and then the third frame represents the E sound and then the fourth frame represents the O sound and then the fifth frame represents the E C T sound and on and on and on and then the tenth frame is when the mouth is a little relaxed all right the mouth is relaxed in that tenth frame so um we're just gonna do a little recording i like to use the audacity software this software is also free you guys can download it for free and then do your recordings on it i like using this so we're just gonna do a little recording right there hello everybody I am the octopus. Hmm. That is gonna be hilarious. Let's see. Let's play it and see. Hello, everybody. I am the octopus. <laughs> That's really hilarious. I could change the voice if I wanna. Let's do that real quick. Um, change pitch. Just make that a little deeper. Say minus minus ten. Uh, maybe it's too much. Let's try five. Hello, everybody. I am the octopus. All right, that's that's pretty. It's pretty good. Let's use that. We're gonna export it as web. Dot web file. Since that's the um format that OpenTo supports. So let's just say octopus. Dot web. Save. Okay, and it's gonna be there on the desktop right there. I hope you guys can see it. Octopus that web. So we're gonna import that into our animation. Just import that right there into our animation. Load, load level, and then desktop. Octopus that web, and load it. Put it right there. And we have our sound in there so um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do a certain part then we'll skip right through it so I don't consume too much time okay so we're just gonna extend this right here till wherever that stops Okay, that's that's pretty good. And then we we kind of looking for certain parts that have sound waves. Okay, looking for parts that have sound waves. Let's see. Let's stop somewhere here. And then okay, this is where it starts and stops. Let's extend that a little so that kinds of kind of stops at everybody. Still doesn't stop at everybody, so we're just gonna extend a little more. Still doesn't stop at everybody. Oh, it's taking so much time. 
Okay. This should be it right here. Yes. It stops there. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. It says hello everybody, right? So we're just going to try and, you know, find the syllables, the number that coincides with the syllables and then just arrange them in an orderly fashion so that they kind of form hello everybody. Okay. So the first syllable there is he. We just go for e. He. Low. L, which is eight, low, O, four, low, E, again, V, which is nine, V, five, B, seven, A, uh, D, which is five again. So, this is a method I use that actually saves me time. I just go open my calculator. Calculator. And then I'll just subtract the number of frames from you know just kind of find out how many frames are there and then divide by the number of syllables I have. Okay, so um, we have 61 minus 28, 61 minus 28, this is just to get the number of frames that contains hello everybody, and then we're going to divide it by the number of syllables we have here, number of syllables, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, divided by 9. So each syllable will occupy about four frames. Four frames. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to that. Quickly. Quickly. There is no time. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna input that right there. Four frames each. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Whoops. Okay. We've kind of extended a little, so we'll just go back and correct that. And then five here. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Let's see how this plays out. Look. That is so great. Just look at that lip sync. Hello, everybody. Say hello to the octopus. Hi, octopus. If only we could do a little wave there, but there ain't no time for that. You guys should go watch my previous video on rigging, and you see how we can apply a little wave or some. In case you need to move a certain body part, maybe you want this head to tilt a little or something, you can just do a little rigging. So you can just go to my previous video and watch that right there, how to break a character. Okay, so this is it. This is the end result. I hope you guys understood it. If you didn't understand, you could just go back and watch again and again until, or you could just ask questions, drop your questions in the comment section, and I'm going to answer all of it. Thanks a lot guys for watching, it's your boy Manny, and peace.